podcast, Jamie Cardle. Welcome back to another episode of Drehid Art Centre's Solo at Home. Our lineup for you this week, ladies and gentlemen, includes music from Oliver Cole, from Sean Matthews, from Neve Parsons. But to kick us off, this is Roisin Ward Morrow, a fiddle player and traditional singer from here in County Louth. She's one of the recipients of Drehid Art Centre's bursaries this year, so you'll be hearing a lot more about her. Her first album, By the Light of the Moon, came out last year. And she's sure to build on the success she's already achieved. She's played all over the world at this stage. She's played in the White House. She's played in Carnegie Hall. She's played everywhere. But we started closer to home by asking her a little bit about home for her. Home for me is in a wee village in the middle of County Louth. And I suppose home is really rooted and ingrained in me because I'm the fifth generation of my family to have lived in this house. So I think... If I'm right in saying the year that we came here was 1898, so there's an incredible amount of history for my family in these walls. We actually came across some photos of my great-grandparents there about two weeks ago, um, and I had never seen them. It was just this amazing snapshot into what life would have been like in this house 100 years ago, which is just an incredible thing to have. So I am 100% a born and bred County Louth woman, most definitely. Um, For the start of lockdown three, I actually had a really interesting experience because I ended up stuck in Glasgow for seven weeks. I, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get home because of the travel ban. So I had, I had this experience of making somewhere else feel like home, even though I was there for an unknown amount of time. But I also really had an appreciation of what I have here. Um, Glasgow city centre to me just isn't quite the same as it is to be here at home. I'm going to play an air now called The Wounded Hussar. Um, I first heard this about probably about 10 years ago of an album by Brian Conway who's a great fiddle player from New York. His album Trim the Velvet. Um, I remember I heard it and I just instantly fell in love with the tune. And I've pretty much been playing it ever since. Um, In Irish music, well in traditional music, um, these airs all come from songs that were poems set to music. So the poet who wrote the words for the song is called Thomas Campbell. He's a Scottish poet actually. He would have written this around the start of the 1800s. And his poem was set to a melody written by Turlock O'Carolan, who of course was a great harpist and composer from County Meath. Um, And he would have written this around the start of the 1700s. So all in all, there's a lot of history in this song. And the words of the song describe a woman finding her love dying on the banks of the Danube after a battle. Great, there's some absolutely brilliant versions of the song. One great version of the song on YouTube is of Neve Parsons singing it. It's beautiful. And another great version is on an album called My Name is Napoleon Bonaparte uh, with Frank Hart singing it and Donal Lunny accompanying him. Um, I remember about six years ago, I was in my little ivory tower of a practice room in college and I was playing it. And at the time, I was I was really depressed at the time. And I remember I took the bow off the string at the end and I just instantly felt so much lighter. And it's just a tune that's always been there for me. Like to the stage, I I can't not feel something now whenever I play it. So I'll give that a wee go.
Again and I, oh, I can't remember how it came to start a fight to see if we, if we could be better. When I say I don't remember, I mean I'd like to forget. Please don't push this point any further it's only a line in a book of lies that I wrote for you and oh no the situation's changed and we have coped and like I expected but look close you'll see the holes and stories told by me when I was frightened when I say I don't remember, I mean I'd like to forget Please don't push this point any further It's only a line in a book of lies that I wrote for you Oh, don't you know what's written in stone? Seldom the truth Ooh. When I say it's not important I mean at least not to you Please don't push this 
point any further It's only a line in a book Of lies that I wrote for you It's only a line in a book Of lies that I wrote for you It's only, it's only a line Of lies that I wrote for you Thank you. So I'm sitting here in my kitchen and I'm looking at bottles that need to be washed and little baby seats and all sorts of stuff. And this time last year, the buns are in the oven, so to speak. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice journey. But one of the things I started to do because I'm spending a lot more time at home is I started to work on a project and the project's called City of Churches. And the... It's a bit, the idea of it is to go around to different churches and to to film songs that have provenance in the area or songs that are associated with somebody who 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 uh, about the writer of the song. So um, I'm going to start with a song here that is associated with the area, and um, I got it from a good friend, and he. Uh, he heard it for the first time a few weeks ago and um, so thanks very much to that friend and uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead now and I'll sing it and it's about the Augustinian on Shop Street in Drada. Mm. You Romans now excuse me Your aid do not refuse me while here I am pursuing all these verses most sublime. Unite each heart with me in praise the Trinity. Since in Shop Street now we see our blessed temple must be raised. Now where is the protector, or yet an architecture, or any chief inspector who yet can cast a frown? Its beauty never ceasing, its praise is still increasing. Its cross is elevating for people of our town. In vineyard of salvation, poor sinners' preservation, the pride of Aaron's nation, it's worthy of great fame. For it is a sacred pile, cruel Satan can't defile. May the angels on it smile, for it's raised in Mary's name. With my inspecting eye, as to it I drew nigh, my heart was filled with joy as it neared in sanctity. For our Saviour seemed well praised, his temple now is raised. May his name be always praised in this country and this town. The covenant of gold, its beauty now behold. Our Lord, he has foretold that forever it shall stand. Built on St. Peter's rock, 
no storm shall ever shock and guide its faithful flock for to reach the promised land. Draw it his own, Sean Matthews there. We've got time for one more artist before we leave you this week. Thanks to all of our artists for taking part, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week for another solo at home, but in the meantime, here's Neve Parsons with The Wrens of the Curra. So this is a song called um, The Wrens of the Curra, and it's written by a lad called Vinnie Baker, who I never met, and sadly he died in 2013. So I can't even ask him about the song, but I do know it's the history of the women who served the British army in the Curra, and the song itself really tells the story. <clears throat> the children are crying for food, sir. It's been days since they last had a bite. And the winter wind's blowing through the forest, sir. Their song might not last through the night. They drove us away from the town, sir. Out here where we wouldn't be seen. Cast out by the good Christian people like lepers unfit and unclean they call us the wrens of the Curra we live and we die in a hole for a penny I'd give you my body and for tuppence I'd sell you my soul It wasn't for this I was born, sir As a child I was healthy and strong I was happy to work on the land, sir And I sang like a lark all day long But the landowner liked what he saw Sir, he used me He gave me a song Then he sent me away Like a dog, sir Without even a stitch of my own They call us the wrens of the Curra We live and we die in a hole For a penny I'd give you my body And for tuppence I'd sell you my soul done with me now thank you kindly now go back to your God fearing wife to your big house and find healthy children and I'm sure that you have a good life and when you pray to your God in the evening to forgive you for all that you've done do you think you might share a few thoughts sir for me and the poor Karens they call us the wrens of the Kara. we live die in a hole for a penny I'd give you my body and for
for tuppence, I'd sell you my soul.